Hey, I'm Zach Cooper, your Splinter Cell community developer. Here we are taking a look at the Wii U version of Blacklist. You told us to hunt Sadiq, we needed bait. I was throwing Coleman to the dogs get us. Reza, Nuri. It's the best picture we could dig up. The intel we pulled makes up for it. NSA suspects Nuri has ties to Iran. Images are uploaded, Grim. Thanks. The state is a fortress. Cutting edge security, ex-military guards. It's all good, Sam. You want to bust into a fortress? I got exactly what you need. What's our move? This is the loadout screen in which you can customize gadgets and gear to suit your playstyle. In this case, we're going to pick some stuff that's got exclusive Wii U gamepad integration and well, just some other fun stuff too. Okay, so now we're in Paraguay. Long story short, 4th Echelon has tracked down a valuable contact who we're trying to isolate. Location. Head towards the main gate, uploading directions to your offset. This is your inventory, as seen on the gamepad. It operates differently from the other versions of Blacklist in that you tap on the weapon or gadget to select it. In the top right corner, we've also got your lethal, non-lethal toggle, which determines whether you kill or knock out the enemies you take down in close quarters. The whole thing is very quick and efficient. We're going non-lethal here. So this guy's knocked out, but let's use him to set a trap. We'll use the proximity shocker, another non-lethal gadget which acts as a mine that stuns anyone who walks near it. This guy doesn't seem to notice his knocked out buddy yet, so let's make him notice. And down he goes. Here, let's take a look at Sam's snake cam. As seen on the gamepad, we can look into this room without making our presence known. We can zoom in and mark guys by tapping on them. Want to see the finishing touch on this? Here's the same room, but from a different entry point. Using our colorized sonar goggles, we're going to mark these guys. And you can look around by moving your gamepad, just like with the snake cam. Let's use the sticky EMP and turn out the lights to give us some more cover. These guys are having a casual conversation in a puddle. We're going to interrupt. This dog is going to start to get upset if those guys stay immobile too long, so let's deal with that. Using the tri-rotor, let's get a better vantage point. This is controlled by the gamepad. You tilt, it tilts. You turn, it turns. You might want to just take it for a spin, too. Let's just make sure the other side of this door is clear and we'll move on.
patch Charlie through, we can funnel the video feed into the SMI. I can run facial recognition to locate Nuri. Got him, Sam. He's heading inside. Then we need to kill the power. Any cameras give us a wide view of the estate? Sending it to your offset now. The utility shed by the pool pulls a lot of power. Must be connected to the main breaker box underground. Heading there. Best at the back window. Unlocking that for you now. You are go. Now that Charlie's opened the window, let's see what's going on here. The sticky cam is classic splinter cell, and it gives us a great lay of the land. One more ride with the tri-rotor. You gotta be careful with this thing though. Get too close and the enemies will hear it. Let's just mark these guys so we can see where they go. All right, we'll leave it here for now. We hope you enjoyed this look at Splinter Cell Blacklist on the Wii U, and it can be in your hands very soon. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.